Welcome back, gang. Daniel here with the Cascade Card Wranglers, and today we are going to open Zendikar Rising box number four, ladies and gentlemen. But before we get started, as always, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for coming out and checking the channel, checking this video. It means a lot to us here at the Cascade Card Wranglers. Um, if you like what we do here, please consider hitting the like button, click that thumbs up, and also be sure to subscribe so you can get the latest and greatest videos as they come out on our channel. Now, without further ado, let's get into Zendikar Rising collector boxes. So, as we're opening here, prices have done a little bit of a retrace. So, they're, um, aside from the box hoppers at least, or the expeditions, the expeditions have been holding their own. Um, but uh, for the most part, you know, prices were tanking on a lot of the cards. And uh, it seems to have stopped for a bit, and there seems to be a little bit of a retracement, so that's kind of nice. But it, when I say a little bit, it's a tiny bit. We're not talking about anything um, crazy. Maybe a couple dollars here, a couple dollars there going up. So um, just something to think about. Is this open? That is highly suspect. Huh. All right. This does not seem to be the case. Maybe on the other side. Anyways, two box toppers as always. We'll do one in the middle, one in the end. Um, These cards seem to have been crushed. I hope that um, all these cards are okay on the bottom here. We'll see though when we get them out. But uh, for the most part, yeah. So, you know, due to the Omnath ban too and... Um, a couple of bad calls made by Wizards. Uh, um, we're all a little, we're all a little angrier at them right now because they're just uh, doing a bunch of loopy stuff at the moment. But regardless, we love opening uh, stuff on this channel. We love opening collector boxes on this channel. So may the MTG gods bless us, and let's see what we get today. Let's get to it. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll have five commons. We'll have two uncommons. Zoff Consumption. Interesting. Zoff Blood Hog. First modal DFC. We have our land and our first uh, extended art. Non foil is Shadow's Verdict. Man, I got like three of these, the regular versions in uh, the set boosters in the last opening. I'll link the um, uh, video below, uh, above here. But next we have Soul Shatter, the regular rare. Followed by our two showcase uh, non-foil, commons are uncommon, Skyclave Squid and Canopy Baleth. And then we have a showcase uh, Phylath World Sculptor followed by our foil, um, our foil common uncommon slot, and for our last wild card slot, we have a rare Linvala Extended Art Edition um, box topper. Very nice, not worth too much, but very nice regardless. And we have a cat beast. Moving on, pack number two. So I hope that uh, everyone here is having fun with Zendikar, regardless of all the problems, regardless of, like, Wave 2 is just hitting, like, right now, I think. I mean, we're a month into this, and some people haven't gotten their collector boxes or their set booster boxes. It's that bad. Go through these commons. Uncommons. Palaka Predation into Palaka Caverns for the modal DFC. Island, probably my favorite island with the world pool there. And Orin Reef Ooze for the non-foil extended, not much there. Akiri, normal. And Dreadworm, followed by a Brushfire Elemental Showcase. And we have yet another Valakut exploration like i was saying in the previous video these are so easy to get next is our foil foil territorial scythe cat followed by confounding conundrum box topper very nice 
don't think this holds too much money either, but regardless, love box stoppers, extended art foils are really nice, and a Drake. Third pack here. Let's see if we can get anything spicy. Still no Mythics, so two packs, no Mythics. And we got our rares. Cleric of Life Spawn. Akum Warrior. Akum Teeth for the modal DSC. A Forest. And our first rare is the Archon of Ameria Non-Foil Extended Art. I don't think I've pulled this one, so nice addition. Followed by Aura Skyclave Hierophant Regular Edition, not by a box. And our two showcase commons or uncommons, Dreadworm and Skyclave Pickaxe. Followed by our first pathway, uh, the River Glide Pathway, which is also the Lava Glide Pathway. Um, remember, you get to choose what side you play when it comes into play. Um, and our last card here, well, Coombe Hellhound is our foil showcase, followed by a rare Archpriest of Iona. Um, I think I pulled this one as well uh, <clears throat> in a couple of previous boxes and an illusion. Three packs and no mythics. Oh boy. <clears throat> All right. So, commons. Uncommons. Colony Ambush. And Colony Territory. Followed by Beautiful Plains. I don't think I've seen this Plains actually. Three box, four boxes in, and I haven't seen that Plains. Into Magmatic Chandler. And a Mall of the Skyclaves. Followed by our two showcase non foil common and commons canopy bailiff and McKindy ox. And into the scoot swarm showcase card non foil here. McKindy ox for the duplication. Or, excuse me, not McKindy ox, probably Felidar. Um, uh, foil into a mythic. <clears throat> Haga Deems Awakening. All right, our first mythic, ladies and gentlemen, and I think this one's a uh, this one's definitely a uh, one that holds a little bit of money. That's very nice. Haga Deems Awakening, and in the back we have Haga Deems Undercrypt. Haga Deem the Undercrypt. Very nice. First uh, mythic here, Angel Warrior. And moving forward, got five commons, Scion of the Swarm Uncommon, Skyclave Geopede into a mountain. Look at that, beautiful full art. And our first non-foil is Drana, the last Blood Chief, uh, our second mythic, followed by Crawling Barons. The land that becomes a monster very nice we have spit uh, spitfire Lagak and Kazandu nectar pot followed by Lotus Cobra it's not Zenikar if you don't see Lotus Cobra uh, non foil uh, holds about five bucks um, and spitfire Lagak again this time foil into a rare the Crag Crown Pathway. Boy, I seem to be getting a lot of foil Crag Crown Pathway borderless cards into a Timber Crown Pathway. And an Angel Warrior again. Moving forward, I believe we are halfway through, so we'll open our first Expedition um, box topper here in a second. Uh, let's go. Bunch of foils. Taunting Arbor Mage. Relic Golem. Haven't seen this. That's pretty cool. Forest into Verizal the Split Current. Followed by 
Grackma, uh, Skyclave Ravager, the regular rare. Going into our two showcase uh, cards, Territorial Scythecat, Kazandu Nectar Pot, and our rare, the Kazandu Mammoth. Um, this is also a really easy one to get. I've got a ton of these, Kazandu Valley. All right, the Dreadworm Foil into a rare, the Grackma Skyclave Ravager for the duplication. Ugh, that kind of feels bad, actually. We got it in the same pack, uh, Core Warrior. All right, let's open our first Zendikar Expedition. Let's just make sure that we um, randomize it. Although it's already randomized, guys, because it's uh, not open. And let's try and open this without ripping the card apart or damaging it. All right, our last two boxes have been duds. What will be our first? Here we go. Bountiful Promenade. I do not think I have this one, although I don't think it does fetch a lot of money. Um, I'll put them right here. Um, I think it's one of the lower tier cards, but uh, we'll put prices up. So let's continue with the second half of the box here. Two Mythics, six packs to go. This is kind of scary, guys. Two Mythics, six packs. That means that I could get four Mythics, and that's it. Because if I could get two and six packs, I could get just another two and another six. All right. And Swamp into Swarm Shambler, followed by the rare Archpriest of Iona. And going into our showcase, Common Commons, Akum Hellhound. Prowling Felidar into the Crag Crown Pathway. I think this is the third one we've gotten in this box. Okay. So right now a disaster of a box other than the Agadim's Awakening. Um, and into a Zendikar Expedition. Arid Mesa. Very nice. All right. We turned it around a little bit here as soon as I said something. It's a fetch, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, one of the lowest tier fetches, but this will still get you 50 bucks. Something like that, so definitely we'll take it. Our first fetch, Core Warrior. Uh, um, yeah, still concerned about the amount of Mythics we're pulling other than the fetch lands, because the fetch lands are like essentially lottery cards in here. Um, Soaring Thought Thief, Port the Grave into a mountain and a rare the coral helm chronicler going into our regular mythic the seagate storm caller all right that holds a little bit of a penny there um obviously the extended art holds a lot more but we'll take it and that will be our fourth um mythic counting the foil box topper i'm not counting the non-foil ones right now uh, Canyon Jerboa, Brush File Elemental, into another non-foil Omnath. I'm getting all the non-foil Omnaths. Um, don't know what's going to happen to this card since it's banned now. Uh, right now it's holding its price tag at around $17. It was like $19, so it went down 2 bucks. But nonetheless, our next Mythic, Mythic number 5, followed by the Kazandu Nectar Pot Foil, and into another Mythic... <laughs> Oh boy, uh, that's cool. That's cool. So, um, Omnath, the foil version for the duplication. But at this point, I will take the duplication because that's one of the highest uh, paying cards in the set, unless it goes down because it just got the band hammer and a cat token. Four packs to go, ladies and gentlemen. What else can we pull? Now we have six mythics, so a little bit better. This turned from a crapshoot to a solid box. Now let's see if we can get another fetch. Or another fetch, another expedition, I'd say. Mirasa Sproutling. Lol Mage's Domination. We've got Island. Into Zerasan, the Trickster. Followed by our next mythic. Seagate Restoration. I think I got a couple of these 
I'm not sure if I got the pack foil, but I definitely got the pack version non foil into Seagate Reborn. Okay, Territorial Sidecat to ruin Crab will ruin your day with Mills. And another mythic, Jace the Mirror Mage. Man, this is my fourth or fifth Jace in four boxes. Interesting. He's the easiest Planeswalker to pull as I have not pulled the others. Um, followed by an uncommon Brushfire Elemental Foil. So now we have eight Mythics. And we have our rare, the Orin Reefroos for the duplication, Box Topper, and a Cat. All right, we are winding down here. We still have three packs to go. Let's see what we get here. Go through these commons, uncommons, Bayin Veil, vale. Bayin, oh, very nice, modal DFC Bayin Coast, uh, into a swamp, and our first rare of the pack, Hagra Mauling, non-foil extended, followed by the Crack Crown Pathway, the normal pack version. But still, man, these are the easiest to get. Timber Crown Pathway as well. Um, <laughs> interesting. Skyclave Squid. Prowling Felidar into our rare. The Clear Water Pathway. At least it's another pathway. And then it's the Murk Water Pathway. Followed by a Foil Skyclave Squid. And a rare. The Soul Shatter Box Topper. Very nice. <clears throat> Not a lot of weight to that and a Drake. Two packs left, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Jawari Disruption, very cool. Let's check this out. Jawari Ruins for the modal DFC. Planes for the second to last planes. And Roiling Vortex. Uh, non-foil extended art followed by a maddening cacophony pack regular rare our two common uncommon non-foil showcases mckindy ox skyclave geopede into a rare the bright climb pathway very cool non-foil but nonetheless grim climb pathway <clears throat> the dreadworm foil into the rare, the Magmatic Chandler uh, box topper. Very nice. And the Drake. And last pack, ladies and gentlemen. May the MTG gods bless us with the best cards in this. Uh, so as we say, last pack magic, baby. Um, if you like the content here, if you like what you see, please hit the like button, the thumbs up, or the thumbs up below, and then be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all of our new videos. Here we go, Fearless Fledgling, Vine Gecko, last chance to get an expedition here, Island, Shatter Skull Charger for the non-foil extended, Zagros Thief of Heartbeats, I don't think I've pulled them for the pack um, rare. We got Spitfire Lagak and Fearless Fledgling showcases going into the Needle Verge Pathway. Another pathway to a Pillar Verge Pathway. And Canyon Jerboa. And our last is a Mythic, the Ancient Green Warden. Very nice. Very nice. One of the harder cards to pull so far. I haven't pulled them in four boxes. Uh, holds a little bit of weight to it. Uh, don't know how much, although I'll put the uh, I'll put the prices below. But we hit nine mythics, not including the two box toppers and an angel warrior uh, for the last token. Um, so yeah, the box started out real <laughs> shaky. And uh, we hit a bunch of mythics after that. So I say pretty solid box still. Box number one, man, was the best box. We hit a Misty in a Cavern of Souls foil expeditions. Not to mention a third one in there. Not that great, but a third one. So we beat the odds. Let's get to the box topper over here. 
and see what we close out on. May it be another Misty. Although remember, these will be non-foil. So <clears throat> let's see what we got over here. And for all, for all the money. Verdant Catacombs, excellent, excellent. Another uh, fetch land, non-foil, but it's one of the higher uh, sought fetch lands. Very cool. This will go for about maybe 50, 60, um, but nice, very nice. Very good hit right there as our last box topper. Very happy with that. Um, let's wrap it up here as it's getting to be long. So uh, thank you for joining me on this box opening number four. Um, again, hit the like button and subscribe below if you like the content. Uh, this is Daniel signing out with the Cascade Card Wranglers, and you guys have a splendid rest of your week.